President Biden is now back in Delaware after being diagnosed with COVID. And Joy Reid, here's her spin. She's comparing the president's diagnosis to former President Trump surviving an assassination attempt. Donald Trump is an elderly man who, for whatever reason, was given nine seconds to take a iconic photo op during an active shooter uh, situation. His survival of that and, and bouncing right back and going right to his convention is being conveyed in the media world as a sign of strength. This uh, current president of the United States is 81 years old and has COVID. Should he be fine in a couple of days? Doesn't that convey exactly the same thing? that he's strong enough, older than Trump, to have gotten something that used to really be fatal to people his age. Wow. Jack Brewer is the CEO of the Brewer Foundation, and he joins us now. So the left is now equating the mild cold you get with COVID to being shot and nearly assassinated. Jack, your thoughts? You, you have to wonder what what's her reality, you know, what's her motive to say something so uh, idiotic. Uh, it, it really is uh, unbelievable. I mean, uh, a man that she gets to watch on television take a bullet, uh, get up and throw his fist in the air and tell the American people to fight uh, in that same instance. And she's going to talk about COVID. Um, uh, uh, first off, it's a, it's a, a illness that Joe Biden has already had. So obviously he naturally has immunity to it. Uh, I've had COVID before. Many of us can get COVID, uh, and have no symptoms. And so for her to say something so, so crazy, uh, it just shows you who she is and where she is. It's like she has no life experiences, uh, to, to base any of her opinions off of. Uh, and so it's just nonsense. I can't believe people, uh, would tune in to listen to such garbage. Yeah, and uh, I don't even know if that's this comparison is something the Biden campaign would even find very helpful. Right. And also, you, you know, the former president, he gets grazed by a bullet. The next day he's in Milwaukee and uh, mm -hmm. President Biden gets COVID. Now he's in isolation. He's off the campaign trail. Uh, and there has been an evolution in what President Biden is saying about him staying in the race. Initially, he said it would take an act of God for him to drop out. And then yesterday, he did an interview with BET, and he, would, he said he would drop out if doctors diagnosed him with a disease. So a lot of this is interesting timing. Where do you think all of this is going? I think this is just a, a direct sign that the pressure is mounting around him. And I think you know, President Biden knows himself. Obviously, at some point, um, you know, you, you, you know, even if you're, you know, any sport you play, you know, any profession that you're in, you know, I'm a football player. Uh, and at some point I couldn't play football anymore. I think, uh, Joe Biden is having, uh, that, that, that moment now where he realizes that it's going to be difficult for him to continue to have the wool over the eyes of the American people. Uh, we have to remember that, you know, for, you know, it's, it's been four years, you know, since Joe Biden was in the basement. I mean, they've been hiding who he was in the state of his, uh, his mind, uh, for a long time, uh, because the media, the liberal media, never put the pressure on him to actually ask questions. He doesn't even go in front of the cameras for interviews. And so um, you start to kind of feel feel bad uh, for, for our nation uh, and, and for all the people around him who would really put this this elderly man through that. I mean, uh, what is their motives? And so uh, I, I think America is seeing it all front and center. I, I think just like the poll that came out that said 80 uh, percent of, of Democrats feel like the party is in shambles right now uh, and that's what we're seeing and that's what we're witnessing right before our eyes one correction to something you said jack i would still trust you in the giant secondary way more than i trust joe biden <laughs> with the nuclear codes and that's not an exaggeration or hyperbole i mean